everyone. Driving home this Friday. No progress. None at all. <laughs> so, really don't have much to report. How's everyone this Friday? Anybody have their attraction day today? Or is it coming up soon? Well, good luck to you. I hope everything is, is goes the way you want it to go. Um, I was thinking about this. I know I really haven't done a video of me taking my dentures out or putting them back in or cleaning them. But I thought of some things you might need to know that you need to have to clean that goop out of your mouth. Um, one of the things that I went out and bought was some um, really thin, cheap washcloths from one of the dollar stores. You know when you use your nice bath washcloths to wipe that adhesive out of your mouth. Plus, believe it or not, it's easier with a rougher washcloth. Um, you're also going to need your denture cup, of course. You're going to need a denture brush. You're going to need your fresh and bright denture paste. Regular toothpaste for your mouth. And either a kid's soft toothbrush. I know some people like a baby toothbrush. Um, but it needs to be soft. Um, I am not quite the 30 days, but 29 days out. Four weeks was yesterday. And I brush my gums now, as I've mentioned. I do brush my gums. I brush them with a soft toothbrush and some toothpaste. I'm hoping that the, by rubbing them with the the toothbrush and it's also a toothbrush that has a little rubber circle on the inside like a little half circle and then another little half circle so that kind of rubs against the gums a little bit more than just the bristles um, I'm hoping to push some of those slippers through and the chips through and also just toughen up my gums a little bit so that they'll come through and then when I go to eat again after these things come through my gums may be a little tougher than they were before. Um, so yeah, so you need a toothbrush, you need toothpaste, and you need, I am using right now the Orogel mouthwash um, for mouth sores, it's for braces, dentures, etc. There's an alcohol free version and there is the one with alcohol in it. Right now I'm using the one with alcohol in it because pretty much my extraction sites are closed. Um, I just have these slivers and chips trying to come through. So it's like antibacterial. It's supposed to help numb and, and make it better. So I use that in the mornings too. So I also have that. Um, and then I have my adhesive. You really have to find what adhesive that you prefer. I prefer an adhesive that I can make a steal all the way around the denture instead of just a strip, a strip, a strip. That way I know, because y'all know I don't want that food under there. I know in my mind that it's closed all the way around. It's sealed. Because if I can't take it out and rinse it right away, then I want to make sure it's sealed. Now in the evenings, um, and okay, back to what we were talking about. So I usually have all of that stuff there. And um, a cup, a glass warm salt water still or warm water it really helps to break the, the denture away from your gums it helps loosen everything up swish with that warm water it'll help loosen the dentures up so that you can get them out and then swish with that warm actually keep it in there like for a minute as long as you can each time until it cools off because that really helps get that stuff out of your mouth also
buy my whichever brand adhesive you like because you're going to have to figure that out for yourself. Um, I had my adhesive there and I'm ready to go. So that's usually, you know, that's all the supplies that I need in hot water. And in the mornings, at night, I use, you know, the tablet and drop it in at night and let them clean. And then in the mornings, I rinse them and then I brush them, you know, again before putting them back in my mouth. I don't know why, but I just do. Brush my mouth. wash first, then I brush. Kind of helps a little bit when you're brushing the gums. Um, what else should you know that you would need? Well, the supplies that I carry around with me are getting a little less since I figured out which kind of denture adhesive I like, although I can't find it in a small tube. So I carry a different small tube in my purse. I also carry a fold-up toothbrush in my purse. Um, in my car, I carry water bottles, a denture cup, um, mouthwash, and a toothbrush. So that in case there's an emergency, because I travel over an hour to work and back every day. If there's some reason I'm out and about and I need that stuff, I've got it right in my vehicle. I know I've got everything. Thicker pasta. 
more stuff on me so that I can do it easier. Um, like fettuccine. And um, what else did we have? Oh, peas. You know, real tender. My um, pap brought up green beans. So I'm gonna cook the heck out of them suckers with some ham or some bacon, onion, and, and cook them to death in the crock pot so that they're real edible. So I can eat them, you know, with my teeth in or with my teeth out. I'm still eating a lot of cauliflowered rice. So cauliflowered rice and cheese and now they have the flavored cauliflowered rice they have cauliflowered rice with like vegetables and stuff in it like um fried rice variety or whatever they have a lot, a lot of varieties so try them you know it gives you a little bit of variety in your meals and and it's not as hard to eat it's not as physically the right as hard as you know regular rice it's softer to eat cauliflower rice is physically softer to eat than regular rice um, although regular rice is still good for you to eat when you're trying to eat anything you can um, if I can smash it with a fork I can eat it and I'm trying to chew more stuff but now like I said these slippers and spurs have got me slowed down. So, then I'm sure it will pick back up again. Alright guys, Biker Girl out!